We finished quarterbacks. Let's talk about running backs. A running back that I'm higher on this week, week one, Jarek McKinnon. Jarek McKinnon has two stretches of uh, two separate stretches, one of four games, one of six games over the last two seasons. And that's including the playoffs. He's averaged 16 or more PPR points in those per game in those games. And while Ronald Jones and Isaiah Pacheco both made the team alongside Jarek McKinnon, it's the pass catching role that was confirmed in the preseason that we want to see Jarek McKinnon reprise. And that's going to be fantasy value. Now I expect Clyde Edwards Alaire as to be the early down back, but we saw McKinnon handle double digit carries in all three playoff games. The chiefs trust a reliable veteran. And I think his ranking is more of a mid pack to late running back four instead of the ECRs running back 59 almost a running back six. Now this is kind of a cheap one where you're like, well, you're not digging that deep, but this is one of those high reward, low risk type of rankings. Like we're in a contest. I'm competing against other analysts. If there's a player to go off, it's Jerick McKinnon in a, in a good offense, right? There's been a lot of hype for Isaiah Pacheco. He's a seventh round rookie. The Chiefs trust Jarek McKinnon. And this is a low risk, high reward type of thing because most players, most fantasy analysts are going to keep McKinnon in that running back 55 to running back 70 sort of range. Whereas if I can get him into running back 45 or even uh, running back 40, I don't know if I'm going to go that high. But if he smashes, if he has a good week, I'm high on this. I, I want to be high on Jarek McKinnon above consensus this week.